Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. As you can see, we are decorated here for Christmas. That's right. We have the turkey. Is it a turkey now? I guess it's still a turkey, even though it looks like a COVID. <laughs> hey, we got the earth. You've got the earth behind us wearing a mask. We're, we're going to go through a very rough time, folks. That's my prediction, and I thought that would be a great thing to talk about tonight on the show. But before we dive into Christmas with COVID, we will start in with the... And now, Comedy Chords and Chaos News. Very well done, boys, back at the studio. As you can see, there's our Earth. I wonder what part of the Earth that mask is on. I'm kind of curious. I don't think it's on the U.S., that's for sure. Uh, so first story, <laughs> first story we have tonight, drunken woman taken off a plane in underwear and T-shirt. You know, the old story goes, how do people lose their minds on an airplane? And this lady, I guess she was in, she was, must've been intoxicated, but I don't even think they're serving drinks right now on these planes. I guess public intoxication. So maybe she got drunk before she got on it. But my question is, was she still wearing a mask at this time? That's what I need to know if she was wearing a mask. And it says nowhere on here whether she was. So, yeah, United Express plane. So 25 years old, lost it, was taken off the plane in her underwear. Well done. Well done. And speaking of losing your shit, hero lifeguard sheds prosthetic leg to save man from sinking car. So, <laughs> you know... <laughs> In 2020, I'm surprised you're allowed to. Should we just say guy jumps in and saves somebody? But now I guess it's more of a hero if he, had, you know, that guy. You know, we had a. I've had a talk to many people about this, and we've always said that, you know, about donating money to people in need. If you knew someone was dying in a foreign country, to send money is not that really big of a deal. But if you're walking by a river and you see somebody drowning, you wouldn't think twice. You'd just jump in with your best suit and your watch and your phone in your pocket to save this person from drowning. But if you have a prosthetic leg, you take that off. That's for, I guess you just kick in and take your leg off. <laughs> I guess it, <laughs> or maybe, maybe you had one of those old lead, lead, lead legs. <laughs> Maybe he had one of those, and he knew he was going to go down, so he took it off. I think this could be something now. You could make these where they're floatable legs. But maybe if it was floatable, again, same thing. He couldn't get down enough to save the guy. Buoyant and prosthetics. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't in 2020. Okay, okay. Speaking of artificial limbs, apparent decapitated body on Florida beach was just a store mannequin. <laughs> Maybe this is why you don't want the plastic. Maybe he was an environmentalist. And if he lost his leg, some turtle, some turtle could have swallowed his leg. Maybe that's what he was thinking. But yeah, someone saw this body here and figured, well, it looks pretty. That's a, I don't know if I saw that. I don't think I'd think a mannequin, but. You know, you know, people are getting rid of their mannequins. The stores are closing. People are getting rid of their mannequins. They got to go somewhere. I know I got rid of all my mannequins. Mannequin. What was that song? Wasn't there a song or video? Starship? Remember Starship? There was about the yeah. mannequin in the, the movie, the mannequin, or video, the mannequins come alive. I think it was one of the worst videos ever, apparently. Oh, was that made for that movie? Maybe that was it. Yeah. Metal. Yeah. So metal detector hob hobbyist reunites 1980 class ring with owner. Hmm. I just put this up here because I thought it was, I just didn't think it was that weird. Like good for him. But the, the one thing I have on my bucket list was to get a metal detector. I want to go out metal detecting. I want to be a detectorist. And for anybody interested in metal detecting, there's a wonderful show. There's a wonderful show called detectorist. It's out of England and it's, it's a very slow, easy going, but a lot of fun. So if you want some detectorist shows, not detective shows, 
detectorist shows. <laughs> That's very, very important. So one day it's on my bucket list, but I just got a motorcycle, so the, the metal detector will have to wait. Maybe if parts start firing off, flying off my bike as I'm going by, I might have to go back with my metal detector. <laughs> okay, oh, moving brother. along. This is this. Now we're going from this is skill here. Man catches 50 caramel corn pieces in his mouth in a minute. In a minute. COVID. I'm telling you, people, you're sitting around your house wondering <sighs> what you're to do. You could be in the Guinness World Book of Records with a box of Cracker Jack. <laughs> but you only need, you got to get That's 50 crazy. you got to get 51 pieces in your mouth yeah i knew a girl once and i knew this guy named jack oh God. <laughs> <laughs> this one i i like this next story because since i got rid of cable i thought it was i, I saw a whole twist on this story wildlife wildlife officers rescue deer from sportsnet in colorado well, a few years ago, I got rid of cable, and I, I, I rescued myself from Sportsnet. No. I'm thinking, what kind of idiot? Do a bit of research and find out what freaking kind of Sportsnet it is. Is it a basketball net? Is it a soccer net? It's obvious. It's it net. looks like a soccer net, but Sportsnet. What the freaking, how lazy can you be, man? <laughs> oh, what's this world coming to? Uh, voter fraud ruffles New Zealand. This is one for the boys down in uh, down in Aussie land. Ruffles New Zealand's bird of the year competition. Apparently, this bird with the orange bracelet, I must say, called out fraud on the uh, <laughs> on the voting. Actually, the bird didn't. The bird won, but they wanted a recount. They wanted a recount. Everybody wants a recount. Everybody, everybody wants a recount. This pigeon, yeah, it's a pigeon. I let, no, a kiwi. Kiwi, sorry. I'm thinking of the American one that wanted a recount. He was a pigeon. It's a penguin. <laughs> this, now, this video has been floating around because it's November 2nd. I've seen this a couple of weeks in a row, and I thought, that's I don't even want to go here. It's not true. But it is true. Saved by the whale. A Dutch train runs off elevated tracks, and the statue of the whale... <laughs> Catches. Oh my God. Catches the freaking train. Check that out. That it is. It's real. I wonder if that's become part of the statue now. <sighs> imagine, imagine you're the driver. We're going to crash. We're going to crash. No, we're going to be okay. Don't worry about it. <sighs> what a tale. What a tale you'd have to tell your grandchildren. I tell you. <laughs> eh. One for well, one for our weird. vegan friends out there. Veggie burgers can be called burgers. The European, the European, <laughs> European, no. European. No. If you have too many root beers, <laughs> European part of the. <laughs> and I, I'm thinking, you know, hey, isn't there more serious <laughs> things out there like COVID? But now we know the European Parliament has decided that if you are having a veggie burger, you can call it a veggie burger. So I'm so glad we've cleared that up. <laughs> and this one, this was a last minute. This was last minute. I was going through Facebook and I saw this guy. Trump's fired the guy in charge of cybersecurity. Yeah, so and in <laughs> <laughs> This is great. Trump's going to fire everybody now. <laughs> I want you out. Get out. Get out. So, yeah, this guy apparently was the security agency, and uh, apparently the claims are that uh, he just wasn't doing a very good job because he lost the election. So you're gone. Oh, God. And to finish it off, this one, you guys are going to love this because my wife put up the tree today, but we do not have this tree topper, but I thought it's very appropriate for our show. <laughs> <laughs> this you could get. For your tree, this is Jumpin' Dave. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, there it is, folks. There's... <laughs> there's I'm still getting that. There's... Uh, that's awesome. That I think it, it looks... I tell you, from the picture, though, I think it's been out a while. You might want to look on eBay or something like that. There's a few probably kicking around. I, w I didn't even have time to think of what to call it. There must be a name uh, out there. There must be a, something there. I don't know. Yeah. 
So ladies and <laughs> yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the news. That's the news. Oh. Welcome Mark and Tim. Well, up in Canada here, it is a little chilly today. Got the sweater on. I'm in the basement studio. I don't know if we have our furnace turned up very high. We're getting a little cheesy in our old age with the heat. It was snowing not too long ago here, which I'm not happy about. Yeah, it was It was a cold day today, wind and stuff. and uh, Not ready for this winter thing. So everyone's been mailing us in. Uh, Tim, you can see, survived his surgery. We talked about his surgery last week. Tim, uh, Tim's not speaking because his voice is really, really high. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> We should have put him on helium. We should have put him on helium for the show. <laughs> and had people call in. Guess what Tim had done? Oh, oh, this is good. This is good. We got a uh, so we know what to call. We found out already. Thank you to our wonderful viewers. David Dave Aston said Roth. David nice. Tree Roth. Roth. That's fantastic. That. Like good, one. good one. Good yes. one. Good one. Perfect. Yeah. So we got we got we got uh, quite a few. I, I should go in and I I like to like the comments of everybody here. Hi Mike. Uh, Paula, Wade, Dave, Valerie. So uh, as you can see in the middle of the screen, Feed the Need in Durham has a concert. That's why we put it there, Mark. He's, this is we're so we're so visual Good with point. our uh, yeah. See that? See that? There you go. So, wasn't that one of those uh, Second City things or something? <laughs> so December the twentieth, we are doing. Well, I shouldn't say we because that's probably misrepresenting it. But I am producing the on air. Uh, concert that's put on by the Bowmanville Rotary for Feed the Need Durham, helping raise uh, awareness and funds for Feed the Need in Durham because Christmas is a terrible time. I mean, this year's been terrible anyways with COVID. It's been hard for a lot of families. And uh, we will be having numerous performances, and we'll we'll talk maybe a little bit about it later. Hosts for the show are K96, Carolyn Ellis, and Jerry Archer, and CKDO's Chris Coppin. So it should be a great show. Uh, yeah, looking forward to that. It's probably going to be about four hours long. So it'll be December the 20th. It'll be a lot of fun. You can sit cool. there. You can sit there with your caramel corn. Toss them in. Try, nice. to get, try to get 51 in. Yeah. But now, before we dive into COVID Christmas, or COVID Christmas, by the end of the night, we're going to have a few Christmas carols, Christmas carols. COVID carols. <laughs> COVID Christmas out. carols. Yeah, so yeah, you got to live with it. You got you to gotta work with what you got. So right. right now, though, what do we got? We got this week in music. This week in music. That's what we got. Okay, this week on November 11th, in 1972, the Allman Brothers band bass player Barry Oakley was killed when his motorcycle hit a bus at the exact same intersection as former band member Dwayne Allman, who was killed a year earlier. Oh, How weird is that? You know what I thought you were going right? to say? Wow. He hit the bus at the exact same time the bus hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, that's right. That too. Uh, I don't know what goes through. <laughs> it's fucking timing. It's all about timing. <laughs> oh my god. Everybody's gotta be synced. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, uh, let's see. Also on November eleventh. These are good ones to remember. Get it? November eleventh, Remembrance Day. Nineteen seventy eight. The cars released the first commercially available picture disc single ever. Interesting. Wow. Uh, my best friend's girl. Remember that song? Great song. Beautiful album. Went to number three in the UK and only number thirty five in the US. I find that surprising. Very popular song. <laughs> Sorry, this one makes me laugh. <laughs> um, this I don't understand. I don't know the outcome of this, so I don't know. If you want to do your own research afterwards, you can. But on November 13th, 1990, <laughs> Patricia Boughton filed a lawsuit against Rod Stewart claiming that a football he kicked into the crowd during a concert at the Pine Knob Music Theater in Michigan had ruptured a tendon in her middle finger and as a result made sex between her and her husband difficult. <laughs> I saw that this week. I saw that this week. It's it's big news, I'm telling you. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know. <laughs> I'd love to be on that jury to hear that story. Yeah. Anything for a on settlement. Her fin- on she she a tendon on her finger. A tendon in her middle finger. Oh, it was her finger, not his finger. <laughs> it was oh, her Okay, finger. okay. <laughs> so was that her prostate oh, finger? What was, was that? that yeah. I'm <laughs> guessing. <laughs> I don't know. I... <laughs> Yeah, work oh it out yourselves, my guys. god i'm trying know. to see the first pocus the deepest who's saying that the first <laughs> sure bro. no rod stewart also yeah, tonight yeah. tonight he had a copy cat um, stevens <laughs> i'm guessing that was probably tonight but who the hell knows tonight's the night not after that soccer ball hit me <laughs> Honey, do, you oh, think, do, you, do you think i'm sexy <laughs> Oh, good night, everybody. <laughs> I quit. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Oh. Now okay. I'm going to be plagued with Rod Stewart songs for, for about 20 yes. minutes. <laughs> I know you are. And oh, it's not gonna stop no, the rest it's not of the right. Night. It's not fair. <sighs> oh. <clears throat> All right, let me get through this here. I got another Rod Stewart story. This one's quite different. <laughs> <laughs> also, on November 13th, this time in 2019, Rod Stewart was featured on the cover of Britain's Railway Modeler magazine. Yes, Rod Stewart is a model railroader. The singer had put the finishing touches to a 25-year project building a railway city, which was modeled on New York and Chicago around 1945. The model railway spans 1,500 square feet and is housed in his, in the attic in his Los Angeles home. I actually looked this up. I Googled it. I was curious to see this thing, and it is unbelievable. Oh, yeah, I know. It's it's real stuff. He was He's it addicted to these trains, yeah. Oh, yeah. These model railroaders are serious about their railroads. But Especially when you, got Rod, when, you, when you got Rod Stewart money, you do. You could just... <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see here. Oh. November 15th, 1969, Janis Joplin was arrested during a gig in Tampa, Florida after bad-mouthing a policeman and using vulgar and indecent language. <gasps> Joplin became upset after police moved into the hall, forcing fans to move back to their seats. As the singer left the stage, she confronted a detective calling him a son of a bitch and told him she was going to kick his face in. Jesus, she's got a temper. <laughs> she, she was released on five hundred and four dollars bail. Wow! She gave him oh, a piece of her mind. I guess so. Holy moly! November 15, nineteen ninety. Frank F- Farian, I think that's how you pronounce it. Millie Vanilli's producer held a press conference to confirm the rumors that the two members of the group had not sung on their records. I remember that a sad, sad day. Uh, Rob and Fab were their names, apparently. I never knew what their names were. Rob and Fab. And I know one of them is no longer with us, which is sad. Um, November 17th, 1963, John Waitman, the headmaster of a Surrey grammar school in England, banned all pupils from having beetle haircuts. He said they, <laughs> he said that. <laughs> He said, this ridiculous style brings out the worst in boys physically, and it makes them all look like morons. (laughs) This is what the guy says. That's who you want running the school, right? Uh, You look like a moron. And one more. I got one more tonight. Uh, November 17th, 2000. This is a little bit sad. The new Beatles' greatest hits album, which featured the song Love Me Do, with session player Andy White on drums and Ringo Starr on tambourine, was released. Now, it was reported that White wouldn't receive enough royalties to even buy his own copy of the album. In fact, he would get no more than his original session fee of seven pounds. <laughs> that is terrible. What did Ringo get for the playing the tambourine? Ringo probably got... Uh, some Rod Stewart type money, yeah. playing the tambourine on that track from that greatest hits release. And the drummer got the finger, and he got pretty much got the <laughs> finger. And that is this week in music. Uh, again, in music. and there it is. Other week down. 
Oh, yeah, that, man. that's too much. Kills me. Yeah, good old Rod. Oh, brother. One of my one of my favorite rockers for sure, though. Mm. Uh, big Rod Stewart fan. Yeah, but don't go kicking any footballs into the crowd. I I've seen him perform in concert, and yes, he was kicking out soccer balls. But I think I was too far back the one time. One time well, I was did, closer. Did it rupture any tendons on you? No, because no. you got a lawsuit there. Yeah, I know. I was reaching out like this. I'm over here. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't oh, want to ruin boy. my. I didn't want to ruin my sex life. So no, I of kept course my hands not. behind my back. You got, you got to protect those middle fingers. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the news is done. Tim's gone back to sit on the couch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, done. <laughs> oh wait, Tim! I'll wake you up at ten. I'll let you know when it's <laughs> yeah, over. Okay. Yeah. The oh. important stuff is over. Okay. So, um, yeah, I, I, I was looking at the numbers today uh, for COVID. Now I know, talking to people even around the world, things things are iffy. Things are not good, but. I want to share this screen because right now we are up to over 6,000 a day, day change, 6,000. And you can see in the chart how far we were doing really well at the end of stage, I guess, stage one, stage two lockdown. And then it just went to hell. Um, so with Christmas coming. Yeah. And one, people are people get together at Christmas because it's holidays. And two, shopping. People want to, one, they want to get stuff. And two, they want to support stores. So they're kind of forcing themselves into these situations where they're going out. Mm. And someone mentioned to me today that we haven't even had the American Thanksgiving yet. That's right. Which That's is the biggest. This, this week, isn't it? Which I think is even bigger than Christmas down there. Oh, it's huge. Yes. It's like massive. So, and right now, those guys are in a serious mess. Mm -hmm. Like, they are really bad. Like, I think we've, I think the thing is, the reason I wanted to talk about it was, I think we've got to the point now, we've just got used to the fact that it's getting out of hand again. And it's not a big deal. Yeah. It's like their hospitals apparently are under pressure. Now, now, a lot of people say, well, that's not true, blah, 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 blah. From what I'm seeing, it is. It, it, they're under a lot of pressure, the nurses, the hospitals, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, and and the whole thing about talking about lockdown and, you know, going into the next or going back a step or whatever it is, is to, is to for here anyway, is to keep the hospitals from getting to that point, you know. Everybody says the hospitals are fine, you know, I was there and there's nobody there, but the point is you don't want them to get to that point where they get right. completely overwhelmed, right? right. You got to keep well, this then under they control. Stretch, they start uh, <clears throat> stopping any elective surgeries, uh, you know, things that right. should be done. Exactly. Um, and they just yeah. they just Life can't threatening do them, stuff. you know, yeah. they don't do them. Exactly. And it turns into a big mess. And that's what I think people overlook and I think the the mentality of those that think differently don't can't mm-hmm. think ahead. It's like, mm-hmm. yeah, they can't they can't see that far ahead, and that's a sad, sad situation here that we have. Isn't that a song? Sad, sad situation. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I think it's sorry, by Rod Stewart. <laughs> it, no, by Elton John. Sorry seems to be the hardest word. <laughs> um, but no, I, I and I, I I just kept thinking to myself today of how these people last minute rush to the stores to buy stuff. And the thing is, the reason the stores, the reason people wait to the last minute, it's usually people that are waiting for that that last paycheck to come in, to go out, get their last groceries, get the Christmas presents, and uh, race race to the stores. And that's when it could get really, really bad. The last week, it's going to yeah, be the last chaos. week leading up, and then there's the the, the, the week um, between Christmas and New Year's, which you have you know boxing all your boxing day, sales, day yeah. all this crap yeah. you know going crazy, and then you're going to have your New Year's parties, and I think the New Year is going to be a complete friggin' circus again. That's yeah, my prediction because it's that generation, the younger generation, and I I know the younger generation doesn't take nice seriously. kids today. Well, I mean, we do because we've been around, you know, it's not that it's not that you're an old fart, you're old grumpy bastard or whatever. It's just that you've been around long enough and you're settled down. And and I mean, I'm not going anywhere anyways. 
I mean, I go I go out for work right now, and I go to the stores to buy stuff for work. Mm-hmm. Um, Lisa goes out and buys stuff, um, like in the grocery store. So she goes to the grocery store. I go to Home Depot. So we kind of split it up. I don't go in any grocery stores. Mm-hmm. I get, I, you know, I'm no, it's too many stores for me. So Home Depot uh, is enough, and the odd Canadian Tire, or whatever. But I've been very good staying away from people, and I, you know. But I notice that even going to houses and doing quotes when I'm going into quote doing a reno, mm-hmm. I have a mask on, and then the people that open the door, I would say nine times out of ten don't have a mask on, yeah. and only once or twice I've had someone say, "Oh, should I go get a mask?" Really? You know, so that tells yeah. you that that person. So all those people that I've come across mm-hmm. aren't wearing a mask. Mm-hmm. you know, on a regular basis because they're not thinking about it. So, um, and then once they feel the comfort in their home, right? Yeah. But so. when someone's coming into your home, you're bringing freaking home Depot into your house too. Yep. You know, in a right. sense, everyone right. that you've come in contact with, but mm-hmm. you know, I still, <laughs> I still, <laughs> I'm okay. I'm all right. But I, I still would love, you've had it. Have you had the test, Tim? No. Oh, you never got your your son. No, just my son. Your yeah. son did. Yeah. And you had to wait. He was whether... a, he was a bigger man than I would have been. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I I would like to know if I've come across it. You just never know. I had a couple of spells where I didn't feel great through the year. Not much. Not, not maybe a cold or something. But who knows, yeah. right? Some people get affected differently by it. Right. So, like, yeah. But, but the thing is, it, how many people have had this thing that didn't get tested? That That's the mind-blowing part for me still. Probably a lot more than we realize. Yeah, because when they say 6,000 people, like, cases, that's 6,000 people that have been tested. Right. Right? right. And... Uh, Look at there's, there's a hot and, and again those numbers aren't necessarily you look at today's numbers which went down in Ontario but again it, it also um, the amount of tests were down significantly as well I think they were only what did they say twenty four thousand which is on the on the low side right so mm-hmm. you know, so those numbers they're are doing, probably okay higher. so twenty four thousand tests and about six thousand people are no oh, that's just Ontario. That's just Ontario. So 24,000 tests in Ontario, and I think there were 12-something. I don't know what the number was in Ontario. 1,200. Yeah, 1,200. 1,200, 1,200 yeah. so 24,000. 24, so what's the math on that? <laughs> <laughs> so two, 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 the one, in, the one in 20? 000. One in 20. So like 5%, just over 5%. Yeah, one in that's one in 20, right? One in 20. Yep. So one in 20 people tested have COVID. Yep. Hmm. So how does that, how does that sound now? Does that sound, does that sound good or bad? It almost sounds, there's, so you've got, you've got 24,000 people that don't feel good or, but a lot of those people could have just came in contact around somebody and they felt the need to go get tested. Yeah, I mean, uh, there was an outbreak at Joseph's school last week. Not an outbreak, a kid tested positive, so that class is, you know, quarantine. Today, we found out one of the bus drivers tested positive, so now that's... Yeah, how does that work with the buses? Uh... Does everyone on the bus have to self-isolate every, now? Or? Everybody on the bus, I believe, on that bus now self-isolates. What but about he, the classes? That I don't know. That was never mentioned, and that was one of the questions. I, I mean, because yeah, you have you, you, these kids go into how many different classes, and I don't know. Toronto Public Health deals with it. The school reports it, and then the Toronto Public Health deals with everybody who supposedly is at risk. I don't. I don't mm. know. See, this is the part that doesn't make sense to me because, <clears> right, the problem. I think the biggest problem we have right now is a financial crisis problem. Right. The right thing to do right now, if it, and I'm going back to what we did before we, when the numbers started climbing and we had a lockdown, Mm -hmm. right. And then we brought the numbers down because we had that lockdown Mm -hmm. right now, the numbers have been higher than they've ever been. 
and okay, it did it did drop, but it's they're very high. Mm. And like we're saying, it it it's gonna get worse. It has to get worse if it's going up, unless it naturally st- it's going to taper off if it gets just mm-hmm. naturally curves off. Mm. Yeah. the The right thing to do would be to have a lockdown, but the reason we're not having a lockdown is because of Christmas and money and money. It and the fact is now and and also Christmas. You got to look at another thing. Christmas is a very stressful time for a lot of people, mm-hmm. right? And um, so. You know, people being alone at Christmas time is is something that they would be concerned about because we've been we've been concerned about that all along, right? Yeah. People dealing with the mental health issues because of the lockdown and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I think the government is saying to themselves because I think that's why schools went back because the kids mm-hmm. needed to get into school so the parents could get out and work. Because right. otherwise, yeah. otherwise they've set a precedent already. If you lock down, we're giving you two grand a month. Mm-hmm. So now, if you have a lockdown, but then say, well, you're not going to work, but guess what? We can't give you $2,000. Exactly. Then you got a problem. Now the government, yeah, now the government's got a big problem. Oh, yeah, you gave us the money net then, but you can't give it to us now. So the yeah. whole idea is the only way we can play the game is to keep everybody at work. But so you're real- also dealing with two different levels of government, right? The CERB was federal, right. and then the lockdown would be provincial. Correct. So the federal government doesn't want to get involved with, you know, implementing any stricter or or forcing the provincial government right. to locking the, you know. So uh, again, you've got two different levels of government. Hopefully, they're talking to each well, other. I, and, yeah, they should be. You would hope should, should be. <laughs> should be. They should but be working you, you, together. You listen to to any, you know, the the <clears throat> biggest argument is if you do another lockdown, so many people are going to be uh, small business owners, you know, entrepreneurs. They're going to be done, you know. Yeah. yeah and sure, then what do you sure. do? So, so uh, many of them already are done. Well, yeah. Already a big problem. So Absolutely. that's what I'm saying. This is the mind blowing thing for me is <clears throat> we're not doing the right thing according to the pandemic. We're doing the right thing according to the economy. Now, exactly. now we are. Right. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's, and I think you've got two sides, right? You've got the person, you got the group of people that didn't want the lockdown because they wanted to keep working. And then you've mm-hmm. got, you had the group of people that were afraid and they wanted the lockdown. They probably had a few bucks in the bank so they could afford a lockdown. Oh uh, yeah. That's, but right. that's like I that, know right? so many people that have lost businesses or closed their mm-hmm. businesses Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, that's just, I mean, geez, I know more people that have lost their business than have got COVID personally. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Yep. You know, so, um, but I, I see both sides of this. The thing with me, I see both sides of the coin here. Mm-hmm. I see the importance to protect people and do lockdowns and wear the mask and do all that. But yet at the same time, I mean, the survival of a business is that's but, but don't don't you also see part of the problem is it it's not the people whether or not you want you know, to stay open or to lock it down. it's it's the just the the common sense things, the the little things that you can do so we don't have to lock down. Or like just wear right. a freaking mask, you know, at at the end of the day, i always I always think, if I'm wrong, what's the worst thing that can happen? If I'm wrong and there, there's, you know, the mask doesn't do anything, what, what, what is the worst thing that could happen? I look like an idiot. Okay, I'm wearing a mask. But if if I don't wear a mask, and I'm wrong, what's the worst thing that can happen? I could get someone sick. I could, you know, I, right. I just don't understand. You know, well, well do think the of, little things, people. Geez, look how like many just, times, look how many times you've ran back to your car because you forgot your mask. Yeah. And you don't run back. I run back like, oh, shit. I run back, get it. And I get. Yeah, I think when I I'll be honest with you, when it first started, I I did feel uncomfortable putting it on. I did. Mm-hmm. That's just human nature. But I put it on and mm-hmm. it took me a while to get used to it. And then I, I started wearing the I had the one that covered my whole face like the uh, what do they call it? The um, N95 or no, no, not the end. I had N95. And that's another thing. I got in trouble on Facebook because I had the N95s. Remember, I had a box of N95. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I had Why an op- I, had, I had an open box of N95s because <laughs> right. I do drywall <laughs> I contracting. That. I would never give 
my open box. They wouldn't take it. And then people are like, I, I posted a picture on Facebook showing, look what I found. Because I went and looked for them through my stuff. And they're like, you shouldn't have those. They should be given to the... They should be given to the hospitals. You're a terrible person. You're killing people because you're holding on to the masks. Freaking hell. I'm telling you, just that's when it all started. You know what? And that's when all my posts were going crazy. And I was I was like, I'll take it down. I don't care. I'm taking it down. I don't want to deal with this. I got enough stress on my life. But you know what's funny though, and I never told anybody? In we we I had this toolbox that was my dad's. And I there was a bunch of really old N95 masks, like three or four boxes. But the mice got into them. <laughs> and it was like the saddest thing. Oh, oh. I, I was like, I found these masks. I was like four or five boxes. I go, oh, they got to be, they got to be, expi- they got to be expired. But if they're still sealed and I opened them up and the mice had chewed into the plastic and shit nice. in them. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I'm, st- I'm still picking freaking <laughs> I can't get the bagel out of my mouth. It's those little freaking. Oh, do you have a? Do you have, did you have a bagel? Did you have a bagel with with poppy seeds? No, 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 not poppy at all. Poppy seed or what? I, oh what? no, that's most. That's, that's for my mask. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I should have posted all those. But people, like, they, people used. don't have a sense of humor in really bad times. Ugh. But uh, yeah. But um, yeah, I was wearing one of those um, neck things that you pull up. But then I was thinking to myself, hey, I can breathe really easy with one of these things on. So I stopped wearing that. I said it it, it was great. I felt really cool and everything. Yeah. But no, then I went, I just wear a surgical mask. That's yeah. that's my favorite yeah. now. Yeah. yeah, that's what I wear too. I, you know, I just, people say, oh, you're wearing a mask. No, I'm a doctor. I'm going to come from work. <laughs> I'm a doctor coming from work. <laughs> You play these little games in your head. I just keep my uniform on. Yeah, I keep. Yeah, I wear scrubs. <laughs> I wear scrubs too. Oh, yep. that guy is a doctor. And everyone thanks you. Everyone thanks you for all because you're essential. You look like an essential service. Uh-huh. I should get scrubs. I should get scrubs and put Tudor Castle contracting on the back. <laughs> oh, my God. oh, that would be kind of funny. Start wearing all all the crew wears hospital gear. Yeah, you'll take us. Everyone takes us seriously now. Yeah, but uh, yeah, (laughs) crazy, crazy stuff. So, but I remember Home Depot when it. I remember. I think we might even talked about this on the show. We must have. But how Mm -hmm. how lax my Home Depot was in Bowmanville. I can't believe that place didn't. They all didn't get it. Yeah, it was amazing, and uh, and and a lot of stores. I I would talk to people, and I said, I'm surprised you guys don't. Oh, we clean everything, and they all get the (laughs) fence. (laughs) <laughs> but yeah i don't know but yeah it's uh i don't know what's gonna happen with these uh well only time will tell i mean i personally i plan on doing as much shopping as i can online i'm not going to a mall you know especially as it gets closer to christmas i mean screw that that well I yeah like, exactly i don't like going yeah. to the mall in the like, best of days <laughs> well this is the thing too so what it's done too like so they Everyone says you still go out shop local, but the thing is, Amazon's knocking on your door. How, what, you get everything. You get everything you on Amazon. You cannot compete with Amazon. They have absolutely you everything you could possibly need or want at a, at a decent price. I mean, or not how need. Is, <laughs> or not well that's the other problem you know that's the problem it's like a costco you go in and spend 300 bucks on something you don't need so this is right. this but is I the mean, next topic this is the next topic and and here's a comment how about not buying crap and i crap. think that is the big challenge and i think that's where yes. people are starting to wake up and mm. i think dave the thing is when people stop buying crap the economy is going to take a hell of a hit because yep. so much Canadian income is spent on stuff that people don't need. And yeah, um, yeah. I do I do contracting, and most of the rentals I do, I would say 90% of the rentals I do, maybe 85, are things that people really need. Like, like a bathroom rental because their bathroom is ready for a... Um, a renovation like the piles yeah. are falling off the wall or something like that. Right. I'm not going into places and taking out kitchens that are really 
good shape and people want to change them because they don't like the color of it or they, they yeah. want, they want to change their quartz countertop because they don't like the color of it. I, I rarely touch those jobs. I don't do those because I just, it just drives me nuts to see that kind of mm. stuff. But, mm. um, and I think we've probably talked about this on the show before growing up, we've been exposed to this type of spending mm -hmm. and I'm yeah. guilty of it. And I'm trying to, and you, you talk about that Amazon thing, you know, how easy it is at 10 o'clock at night when you're watching Netflix or modern family, <laughs> binge watching modern know. family. And all of a sudden uh -huh. you need to get something and then you can start. And then you start thinking of something you want and this is how bad it can get for someone. They start, let's say there's something you want and then you start watching the review videos, but you only watch the review videos that are promoting it. So you mm. can talk yourself into it by watching those videos because you really want it. You're playing these games in your head. And I think most of the population is doing that. And I think COVID could teach us now not to live like that, save your mm. money. But I think when you do save your money, you hurt the economy. But that's, that's what change is though, right? I yeah. think, uh, but I mean, and, and Amazon as well, you know, as soon as you're, you, you look at something, they come up with, you know, people who have looked at this, have looked at this, right. or you might be interested in this and that. And then it's like, Oh crap. Yeah. Look at that. And then look they send like, you an email that it's on sale. And then, right. it's, then it's like, all over your Facebook. You know? Then it's I, all I over your read Facebook. The reviews oh. that are negative. Yeah, absolutely. Now, like read the negative reviews. And Talk you like, out oh, of it. Oh, oh, not. It's a piece of crap even though it was only 1%. You know, like, <laughs> one out of 2,000. Yeah, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah. yeah. That, that, I, I tell myself that would be me. I would get one, you know, <laughs> the damaged one or the one that's crappy or whatever. I'm not buying that. So, so what are the, what do you, so have you guys, have you guys thought about planning holidays or Christmas? Have you guys like put any game plan in place? Cause you guys well, got, you got, I don't kids. think the family's getting together this year. So they're not, yeah. No, I don't. I, I I don't. As of right now, I it doesn't look like we're all going to get together. If so, it's going to be the very um, the core family. You know, maybe the eight of us, and then kind of just uh, each household is kind of potted off like we we normally do at any family function. Just the know, just uh, the fa just the favorites. Just the favorites. Yeah. Well, yeah, pretty <laughs> much. So I'm not invited to any of them. <laughs> We'll do I'll we'll do uh, we'll do a Kelly Zoom we'll do a Christmas Kelly show. And the kids will be over at my parents and I'll be here. <laughs> Tim stays home. <laughs> we can do this show. We'll best, do this show on Christmas. Best freaking Christmas ever. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit That'd there on Christmas. Amazon buying shit for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they have the early Boxing Day sales. <laughs> That's right. Just for oh my god. <laughs> It's funny. I, I actually do all the Amazon buying pretty much my sister. I just got some stuff for my sister. She asked me to pick up my, well, Mark, you know, for my, uh, my folks, yeah. all the sconces and everything I'm ordering from Amazon for them. And Christ. <laughs> yeah, stop buying shit. I had to get out of there. Finish that job. Jesus Christ. Every time I show up, Tim's got more shit for us to put up. <laughs> but uh, so what about you? Well, I guess, Yeah. See, I've been planning. I've been planning this for a long time. I knew the pandemic was coming. We never get together with anyone on Christmas. We stay home because when we had the cafe for, for so many years, we were so exhausted. Yeah, you want to. We, take that we didn't want to go anywhere. Advantage of like, having a rest. Oh, yeah. you know, I know people that drive to would drive to two houses with all the freaking yeah. kids, all the yeah. freaking presents. They have breakfast at one house and then they go to yeah. another house to have Christmas dinner. That is absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. and, but it, uh, and I think it's different. I think it's different with kids. Like once kids are older, I, I get, you know, you just want to do your own thing, but grandparents want to see their grandkids. I think it's the, I think it's the parents, not the kids. Cause I think some of the kids, they want their gifts, but they don't want to go anywhere. No, they would no, rather just, it, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They, uh, but, but it, I think it's the parents, it's the grandparents that want to see the kids. It's the parents yeah. that want to see the kids. Oh, absolutely parents they ruin everything let's, let's see what Wade, wade's doing wade's doing uh, all i know is i'm doing a turkey on the barbecue and if somebody shows up all is good if not we have lots of leftovers leftovers are the key to life perfect nothing the wrong key with leftovers. life yeah we uh and it's great for turkey me these sandwiches the next yeah day are the it, best and lisa's a vegetarian so the turkey's all mine nice and the dog one of the dogs is allergic to chicken which means turkey falls oh. into that family i can't give any of them a piece of turkey because if one can't have it, 
None of them yeah, can. Of, it's not fair. That's a shame. <laughs> I know they should. They should. Yeah, we got to fix that. The, have you deep fried a turkey? Uh, by what? Deep fried. fried a turkey? No. Oh, it's freaking awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Deep fried anything. Deep fried anything. <laughs> deep fried Mars, Mars bars, bars for turkey, dessert. Yeah. Deep yeah, I've never, I've think never think done that. Things, it, it looks like too much work for me. It's not. Well, that's. You get well, your brother to do it. You, I just yeah, get, you my get your brother to do <laughs> it. Get your brother to do not it. this year. Not this year. He's yeah, not coming. Enough. But um, yeah, I think uh, I think there's a lot of people that will still get together. There's like I said, there's those people that greet you at the For door sure. that don't have a mask on. Some people just no, nah, I don't care. Yeah. And, and, uh, and a lot of people have very big families. And yeah. These families are going to get together, and it's going to end up being a shit show. Yeah. Yeah. But, no, it's um. Yeah, I. But no, I we did like the time off, and uh, and I always. I always threw an invitation out to my mom. My mom would always go to my sisters and I said, listen, all you have to do, if you want to come here, you can, but you always go to, you always, she, she would always go to my sisters. So I'm like, okay, but anybody's welcome here. Well, not anybody. This is a freaking live show. What am I doing? <laughs> do not <laughs> freaking, show up. That's okay. The dogs will scare them away when they show up. They can, you can only listen to that dog bark constantly. One of those dogs bark constantly for 45 minutes and you're out of there. <laughs> uh, they should just cancel Christmas but yeah I don't, I don't know it's going to be interesting like you said yeah but I think Amazon um, but now <clears throat> so Amazon is really becoming the hub for everything isn't it uh, completely Amazon it's is like a, monop a monopoly of shopping um, yeah and people say shop local yeah and not exactly easy to do because However. what do you when you shop local? What is shopping local? This is the thing I have. Like, you could well, instead of, instead of going to Amazon or going to Walmart or whatever to get whatever you're looking for, go to the, like the old the mom and pop type store, which you know is kind of a dying thing for sure. Yeah, yeah, which has been for years. But and they're tough businesses for those people. They are, and I think oh. a lot of like even a lot of bars, and you guys know the bars because they're playing in bars with the band. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. a lot of the places that you would have been playing in were already on the ropes. Yep. yep. Totally. And this was just the nail in the coffin for a lot of them. This is like mm -hmm. four or five months and they're like, I'm out of there. I can't handle it. Well, the freaking mod club shuts down like that. Yeah. It's not some like, rinky dink yeah. little. But uh, those places know. would be run, would need capacity to stay alive. Yep. They mm -hmm. all did. They all did. Yeah. Restaurants, oh, yeah. like yeah. they work on a 10% but that's, profit margin. That's pretty yeah. much any business model. You're not, you got to be running near, you know, uh, full. There aren't too many that uh, you can run, you know, uh, even half. And, and yeah, live yeah, exactly. Right. But so, now, yeah. see, now people are going to turn to the home, home business and opening a store. But again, that's, you know, I mean, we've just, uh, we were talking about this earlier. I, just put together a store on a website, but it's for the uh, human initiative program, which is for mm -hmm. uh, raising funds for people in Uganda. And it's kind of a different approach because people are going to buy stuff. One, I think the shirts look hip and, <laughs> and, uh, and um, you get something for your donation. And I think that's why we wanted to do it instead of someone saying, Oh, here's 20 bucks. Well, here's 20 bucks. Here's your shirt. Yeah. So it, it yeah. makes it a little easier now to do that type of fundraising. But again, people, could, how people can buy the toques and the shirts and donate and give them as Christmas gifts. That's right. Yep. You can do your shopping right? online. Get it all. There yeah. we go. Yeah. But hurry up because I freaking last minute. I'll be up all night on Christmas Eve <laughs> running stuff and around. You can watch people open them up and go, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> That's just so tragically hip. That's that's how you get that's how you get um that's how you get conversation and people talking about it. Uh let's yeah, see totally. let's see uh let's see here. Is Hanks gone in Bowmanville? <clears throat> I moved ten years ago, so I've heard uh Hanks restaurant is gone, but it now it's called the uh I think it's called the King's Key. But Hanks has a chip truck, which is very, very popular. That's probably They're doing right beside Juniors, which is well, and Juniors Pizza, which Pizza's is sourdough fast. pizza. Sourdough. They uh, they um, are relations to uh, Juniors. Uh, they're relations to Hanks. 
They're they're so they're all connected, but they have that lot there. So those guys are connected. But yeah, oh, it's uh, fantastic. Hanks, Hanks is that? Oh, uh, I think it's called the King's Key or something like that. Well, we have a we. So listen, if you're in Bowmanville and you want breakfast on the weekend, listen to this. When I see these signs, uh, I tell you it it it. I, I think it's a great deal, but then I get scared because breakfast on a weekend at a nice restaurant in Bowmanville, eggs and bacon, toast and coffee, two ninety nine. Where's that? Two ninety nine. Around the corner from I can walk there. Two ninety nine. In the plaza? Yeah. Near the shoppers. Yeah. I'd be there every day. Huh. Yeah, exactly. On the weekend. It's weekends <laughs> only. The I weekends. saw that I thought it was through the week to bring people in, but it's on the weekends. I guess they open for lunch. But that tells me that they're trying everything they can to keep one, keep the staff there. And uh, so that's called the Queen's Castle. I, I will Not drive. to be mixed up with the King's King. The cast. I <laughs> but I, I, I might go check it out. But the thing is, you know, here's the deal. I feel bad going in to buy the two ninety nine breakfast because I know they're having to give it away to bring people in. And you just never give a good go tip. Back. That's right. Give a good give tip. A good yeah. tip. Yep. Um, yeah, it's because uh, go out and try and fry up eggs and bacon and all that for two ninety nine. And I know what they're doing, and that's great. Maybe the coffee's thirty bucks a cup. <laughs> <laughs> Free refills, I hope. But uh. But uh, yeah, it's it, it it's people doing what they can to bring people in, and um, yeah, completely. But yeah, when you see okay. that, it is, it it is. It's like a res- It's like a restaurant holding out a a cup in the middle of the street, really. You know, and that's that's what you start seeing, and um, yeah, it's it's good. But you know, hey, go in there. It might be really good. You go in there, have a great breakfast. You go back. You might go back for dinner and lunch. So so hopefully that that's what people yeah, will I do. Mean- right, get out. Whatever, but again, whatever you can then, do to get you know, people into your now you're going out again to eat. And I think that's what mm. we were just talking about. We're trying to stay away from people yeah. and, you know, yeah. okay, that server's got a mask on, but you're sitting at a table and you don't have a mask on. Someone's cooking your food. Okay, they got a mask on. but uh, So there's that other side to it. And I've always felt bad talking about that, especially on here, because we got to support the local restaurants and businesses and stuff like that. But yet at the same yeah. time, you got to stay home. I know. So it just opens the door to online shopping. <clears throat> so, yeah. I, well, I, businesses like uh, Skip the Dishes and uh, yeah. Yeah. Uber Eats. Uh, yeah. Whatever Charging the hell. 30%. I, well, there's also that thing. Going, I don't know. I can't remember which one it was where people are getting their credit card bills for, you know, $900 from ordering food from somewhere and somebody's i think it was scammed yeah i can't remember which one it was so i'm not going to say but well those those two two people that it's happened to the thing is too your best i i tell everybody if you're ordering local do not you skip the freaking dishes because they rape the freaking restaurant that's what they do percent yeah Yeah, oh yeah it's terrible yeah yeah Yeah. <laughs> what? Can you read that? Skip the oh, yeah. STD. <laughs> Dave, you're going to be on the show soon. Uh, Comedy uh, corner. Yeah, speaking of skip right. the dishes, Way said it cooked for us all, but the shipping from Australia. <laughs> the freaking. Yeah, uh, ship that for it, it reminds me of the egg rolls on the 401. Oh, jeez. <laughs> but yeah. but Hey, Dave, I think you should get a knucklehead reunion going. Yeah. And get, we'll, we'll put a northern So stone, uh, here's the big together. dilemma. Here's the big dilemma. Here's the big dilemma for white Canada. Uh oh. White Canada. They can't so. go to Mandarin this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can't, you can't line up and have your freaking 20 plates of Chinese food for 40 bucks. Christmas is real. Oh, I tell you, there's there's one place I I hate going. It's the Mandarin. Oh, the Mandarin. It's, you uh, go there and you eat and eat and eat and eat and eat, and then an hour later you feel like shit. An hour <laughs> and a half later you're starving. 
<laughs> you just want to jump in the goldfish pond. <laughs> Pretty much. It's just, uh, oh my God. Uh, uh, we've done that a few Christmases. That's, uh, that's a, that's like, been a family get together. And we've said in the past, let's not mm-hmm. go there. Let's just do it at home. But this year, I guess we're not, we're not doing anything. But again, ha- the Mandarin is like a freaking turnover production line. Yep. And I guess I now I wouldn't know this, but I wonder if there's any eating in right now at the Mandarin. Yeah, I think they're doing like small portions, like you order portions. Ah. So you don't you don't go up to a buffet. I, I, I've And again, I don't go to the Mandarin, but I think I've seen posts where you get like a little uh, menu and you pick. <laughs> little, that's like uh, that's like freaking going to a car wash and they only spray the underside. Just- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's not gonna hold up. It's, it's not gonna hold up for white Canada. I'm telling you, this is the best Chinese food I've ever had. Meanwhile, it tastes nothing like Chinese food. It tastes like no. freaking. It's yeah. everything's been cooked in Coca Cola. <laughs> uh, oh my, oh my God! Yeah. It's amazing, uh, eh? It's it's just what a, what a business, what a business. Uh-huh. You know, here's maybe you guys know this, or if there's anyone watching, and I I got to do some research on this, but I like Indian food. Mm-hmm. But some of it's okay. I've come up with a conspiracy. Well, here we go. That I think Indian restaurants, everything that they're serving is all frozen, pre-made. Stuff. I don't know. See, this is a this Re- is... go to Rika's Kitchen or uh, uh, Mount Everest in uh, yeah yeah uh, in Ajax uh, Ajax yeah or but, uh, even well, Signature. But you know Michigan. how every other restaurant works. Every restaurant works. The Chinese food restaurants, your Boston pizza, Boston pizza, everything comes in a package that you eat there. If you have the fettuccine, mm-hmm. it's a frozen package. They rip it open, yeah. they throw it in the plate, they charge twenty five bucks. Yep. It up. It's all it's all pre-made. It's all heated at a certain temperature. There's really mm-hmm. it's not a it's not, they don't have a kitchen. They don't have cooks in the kitchen. They have heaters in the kitchen. That's really microwave how, attendance. Yeah, well that's that's it, right? So all those all those restaurants. So then I'm thinking Indian Indian restaurants must be into that system. Because I'm you, sure some of them. But well think of how yeah. many dishes they have. Think of how many dishes you get, right? You get all those different curries. All the yep. different spices, and I know you can just add spices, but I'm wondering how many of these restaurants are actually cooking everything that you're eating there from scratch, or are they just putting in a package? So they have like your your goat curry, whatever, is pre-made by a company that makes pre-made Indian foods like they do with every other restaurant. So that's what I've been thinking about deep in my okay, head. Okay, I'm thinking I'm we should it. do an investigative report. <laughs> well, Rita, we'll Rita used to cook out of her house. Then you'd have to meet up with her in a mall, and you'd get the food out of her car. And now she's got her uh, restaurant in uh, in Whitby. Um, yeah, but the thing is, when you order, so let's say let's say we go out now and we go to an Indian restaurant. <clears throat> I'm not naming any because yeah. I don't want to throw anyone under the bus because it's not fair. Because we we don't know, we don't know. You you named them all. I'm not naming any, but I have my favorites. Uh, and I find the food very similar. A lot of times it's very similar. Just a little bit different, but very similar. That's what makes me wonder when I go to different Indian food places and I order this food. It's very, very similar. So I got a feeling that uh, your sog paneer, for example, is a packaged food. Just like you can buy at Metro, you can buy sog paneer at Metro in a package. So well, I got a lot a- of the, in- the ingredients and, and they all come from the same not not all of them are the same but a lot of them come from the same food suppliers and that kind of thing as well yeah so i'm thinking i'm so, thinking that a lot yeah. of a lot of the stuff is pre-work they must to turn over so you got a let's say you got indian food restaurant and they got all these dishes on their menu so you order you want a sog paneer spicy sog paneer you want a a dal you want a goat curry whatever all these things and then okay be ready in 35 minutes how are you going to cook mm-hmm. all that in 35 minutes when you're cooking everybody else's meal at the same time? So I got yeah, a feel, I got a feeling that they're they they can pop it out of the freezer, n- nuke it up, and, mm. and and serve it. I'm thinking that's what it is, but that's 
that's what happens in every other restaurant. So it's not, it's not saying that they're cheating, but I'm just saying I was always think under the understanding, or maybe as closed minded in my part, that they make all this Indian food from scratch. But I don't think they do. Even the fine ones, because you go to these fine restaurants, you get some, you get to a certain level. But you know when mm. you know when you go to a place where they're making it, you're making the plate from scratch because you're paying about eighty bucks. Yeah, yeah, but it's also time, right? It so. is. That's what I'm saying. So, like, I know how long it takes to make some of those dishes, and um, but a lot of the that stuff they would have the sauces pre-done, like they could be on the stove top. Yeah. Uh, so, and then it's just a matter of of mixing whatever uh, curry with whatever you're you're having, right? Yeah. So, if you got it on the stove top, they could have made it in the morning. Uh, and I'm not saying all do i'm sure there are like you said a ton that uh um kind of cheat or not cheat but uh, we need to go undercover yeah, yeah. let's do that That's what i'm saying let's do that okay Next mark week. mark we'll you're okay we get to We're... dress up though we have to <laughs> well we no no <laughs> no we we gotta get there must be there must be kitchens looking for a cook right or a a, a, a dishwasher <laughs> and in <laughs> india we need one of you like... guys we need one of you guys <laughs> We're gonna put wires and cameras on, and you gotta go into an Indian more restaurant. Going there eating, not eating, yeah. <laughs> oh I'm no, you. you can't. You're gonna. I've eaten in so many freaking restaurants, Indian restaurants. I still don't know what's going on behind the curtain. We gotta visit the wizard. <laughs> I see. Okay. Do not pay attention to the man behind. We gotta. The curtain. Yeah, exactly. We gotta get behind the curtain and find out what's going on with Indian restaurants. Yeah. Right. But I don't know anyone who's worked in an Indian restaurant, so we gotta find this out. So that's that's up for that's going to be a whole show. <laughs> well, sure well, actually, no, because we've done a whole show on it now. So on that note, yeah, uh, I'm freaking starving now. Sh- sh- shout! Is this a good time to mention the Fe- Feed the Need concert coming up? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably not. No. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Oh, brother. All I can think about is what the hell I'm going to eat after this. I'm so hungry now. Are you hungry? <laughs> you can't order it. There's no Indian restaurants going to get you food this time of night, so you're not having Indian. Kidding. Go to 24-Hour Metro and pick up a sog paneer and there pick you up, go. Uh, get some get some uh, whole wheat bread, fry it a little bit. That uh, uh, white, uh, uh, white man's man. Uh, white man's uh, man. <laughs> white man's non. <laughs> a little bit of toast. The crust. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Hold on. This is. Uh-oh. Wait, wait. See, we're... we don't have to go far. We just go to our freaking oh, hey. comment. Oh, here we go. We've already got an insider. Wait, how Wait, how long ago is this? Yeah. I think there's a joke in this. <laughs> wait for the punchline. Oh, uh, see, here's a. N- yeah. So, wait, it all also said I thought the same about Mi- Mito Sushi. Ah, uh, you know, I don't do this. I don't do those sushi places anymore either. No sushi for me. You don't like sushi? No. I no. love sushi. No. But you I, go I to one of get into sushi. And especially since I saw the video. <laughs> What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Mark. Mark. Oh, God, what don't, no what, thanks. What don't you like? Well, yeah, I don't know if you saw that video that was going around a few years ago. Yeah, where he's the one where they just sear, they slice the fish while it's still alive, and you no, pull this the skin. The no, off. this was this was something different. The guy, the guy, they served the guy is whatever it was, and he's like, "Wait a minute, it's still moving." And there was like <laughs> this thing on his plate. And it was kind of like uh, like this. I'm just like, yeah, "Oh, that on. was the was it the octopus thing?" I know. What the one with the, try, the octopus tried to eat the girl's face <laughs> when she was trying to eat it alive? Did you see that? Oh, yeah, that was awesome. Oh, that that was what you think was going to happen? Of course, it's going to try and defend itself. Five years ago. Five years ago. That's. Hmm. I bet it was one of those fancy little Indian restaurants, and they made everything by hand, and it's not helping us. No, we're going undercover. We need a show. Decided. <laughs> Decided. All right, who's in charge of costumes? This is going to be good. I'm going to feel like Fletch. <laughs> yeah, I used to, I used to uh yeah, I had my sushi days, but it's sushi's just if you're eating the rice, it's freaking high in carbs and you just can eat it oh, yeah. for you can eat it forever. Yeah. You just keep going. But uh yeah. yeah but sushi. Ugh. But the good thing about Indian, Indian's kind of like Chinese food though cuz you can buy a lot of it one shot and then you got leftovers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, always. You always have leftovers. Okay, so this one is uh, prep, but 
Yeah, see, two to three hours before dinner. Yeah, depending on the restaurant. Well, you know, but every but whether and... but but even if you got a buffet, okay. So let's take a Chinese food buffet. Everything is definitely prepped at the Mandarin two or three hours before but, they open. But that stuff but is not made. But that's not Chinese food. No, like you're well, talking, no, you're no. talking about you uh, know, white like man's. A, a I'm talking about white US, man's uh, Chinese, white yeah, white course. man's Chinese food. White man's Chinese food. Is that racist? No, it's not. <laughs> Probably. Probably. I don't know. Probably. Can't say anything. No, anymore. white man. No, that's. <clears throat> no, uh, we 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 used to make these sandwiches. We used to make these sandwiches, and uh, we used to cut the crust off, and you would flatten the bread. With a rolling pin, and then you would put like you could put a spread in it, like egg salad or tuna salad or whatever, and then you roll it up, roll it, and yeah. then you slice it. And we used mm-hmm. to we used to call it trailer park sushi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Well, I should rephrase that. I used to say that. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So, so wait, wait, wait. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, trailer park sushi. That's like those little. Uh, remember, they 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 make those when they the pinwheels. The pinwheels little, where they take the wraps, the wraps, yeah. and they mix up some right, taco yeah. mix and some uh, whatever. Who knows what? Some coleslaw, whatever, some lettuce, and roll it up and slice it up, and you got. You got, you got, you got, yeah, that's your, that's your white man sushi right there. I think you can oh probably get that. You probably get, you know, what's great though. When, when I, the last time I, the last few times I was in, um, a Mandarin, I would look around and see how the stuff was presented. And some of the stuff they have there is just absolutely amazing. And they make <laughs> like little piece, of, little square about half an inch by half an inch of lemon pie or le- lemon tart. I'm like, I need a freaking pair of, I need a, and then you get the guy who comes along and takes about 30 of them because he wants the whole pie. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. The kids loved, the kids loved it though. Kids loved yep. it. They could have yeah, everything. Been Mandarin for years. Yeah. Well, you're not going for a while. No, no. But we are going for Indians soon. Yeah, undercover. But I, I don't think. Yeah, <laughs> undercover. I can't <laughs> We're wait. Gonna have Indian. Oh my God. What time is it? Oh, it's getting late. Oh, are ten. We're just gonna wander into the kitchen by accident. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this isn't the bathroom. <laughs> So we're, we're, we're hoping to have some guests coming on our show that are going to be appearing on the Feed the Need concert December the 20th. So uh, mark your calendars. That's, right. That's going to be a great show. You can stay at home and you can watch it. You don't have to go out. You can order your Indian, order your Chinese, <laughs> order your Chinese. Don't you Indian skip the dishes. Food. What else did we learn tonight? And uh, we, I'd like to thank everybody in the comment section for joining us tonight. It was a, a lot of fun. You guys always make it fun with your... Uh, we don't need Google. We have you guys. Yes. Yeah. That's the best part. And and that way, you know, they always say, how do you know if Google's right? Well, how do you know if they're right? So it's equal. There, there's yeah, no difference. It's all good. It's all good. And uh, yeah, so next week we'll um we'll work out next week. We'll we'll think of something great. <laughs> I, I, this, this show we'll work out next week. You next know, week. we we've we've had the we talked about oh my God. these show. No, no, we talk about you know formatting the show, but sometimes when you format the show. This, tonight was a blast. Tonight was a blast. I got tears running down my eyes. I got to go home and ro- watch Rod Stewart. I don't know if I should go home and watch Rod Stewart or watch a soccer game. I'm just c- completely confused. <laughs> but, but it is. It, All it, I know it, is I'm probably driving over to McDonald's because I'm fucking starving. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm McDonald's. Talking, about, talking about food. I'm dying. Yeah. Here. What are you, you going to have? I have no what, idea. What, what's your go-to meal? What's the go-to meal? What's the go-to meal at uh, McDonald's? At McDonald's, usually a quarter pounder. Quarter pounder, which again, it's been years since I've actually. So this is the first time. Y'all get out of here! You're there all the time. I, no, I haven't. Tim, what, I, I, I Tim, what about you? Was a kid. Tim, if you if you're hungry yeah. and you're going you're going through the drive-through at McDonald's, but it's because oh, it's the only thing. Hold open. on, but you're really hungry. So one, we all know one hamburger is not going to cut it. We know that before we pull in. Well, no, yeah, of course. So what are you what are you, what are you combining? 
uh, super size fries. <laughs> oh, so you get oh, you gotta. Uh, it's always ooh, a cheeseburger added on. A, che- uh, uh, the the added cheeseburger, a cheeseburger, right? Well. Do you, Tim, do you remember when we went when they brought the McRib oh, back? Oh, the Mc, the which <laughs> was, the, was it the McRib? No, wasn't it the um, pizza? Oh, the uh, what's the oh uh, for <laughs> freaking <laughs> sake? <laughs> the green shake. The green, oh, that too. Oh, the green Jesus. shake, and it made me so shamrock sick. Remember shamrock, 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 and we shamrock went through shake. The, the green was shake. After show or the green something. shake was a, was it supposed to be a so chocolate? Sick. Was it, it supposed to be so sick? Maybe the green so, shake was a chocolate shake. That. No, yeah. we went when they they had the McRib back for like you know limited time, and we got McRibs. Oh, I didn't and, eat that too. But uh, and oh. I remember eating that, and I, you know, I'm lying in bed that I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> that's horrible. That's but, okay. Yeah, that should be our show next week. What's, Tony, what do they call, no what are, what are the what do they <laughs> what call it sick. what do they no what do they call it not your your guilty pleasures oh guilty, guilty pleasures. food so for food or for, for anything, anything. oh <laughs> no but any, like <laughs> your no is it no not not is it guilt no What's, guilty pleasure no but there's yeah. another word like let's say for example your favorite movie is Greece. Or you really like the movie Grease. Grease. Oh, Grease. Yeah, speaking of McDonald's. Speaking of McDonald's. <laughs> no, so what is that called when you have, there's a word, what's that word when that's your, someone asks you what your, um, not guilty pleasure, that's not it. What is your, um, go to? I've asked this before. What, so if somebody says, Mark, what's your favorite movie and you say Grease, no. then that person's going to say, but some, that's someone would not say right. something to me. <laughs> someone, some, someone would say something to me. That would bring out that answer. So it's a movie that you normally wouldn't tell people you like, but you like it. And it's because... It's a guilty pleasure. Is that a guilty pleasure? Oh, you're guilty of liking it, that you shouldn't like it. You're guilty. So that's guilty pleasure? <laughs> okay, fuck, that's what it is. So there's... Holy a, cow, so, okay, so next week... Way over next week, Next week is guilty pleasures. All right, guilty, guilty pleasures. pleasures it is. So all our... Well, <laughs> all right. So what we'll do is we'll make lists of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All the things that you can have guilty pleasures for. Yeah, that's what we're doing okay. next week. So there you go, that's folks. If you're listening, tell us your guilty pleasures. Boy. And uh, we'd like to thank everybody for um, <laughs> tuning in. And I just want to let everyone know that we have our Christmas tree up. <laughs> so so go there, everybody out there. We're way ahead of you this year. It's up. We're We're celebrating early. We're celebrating early because we got to be happy. We got to get through this. I haven't even thought about Christmas yet. Jeez. Oh, boy. I was thinking of taking a month off, and then my wife just looked at me and said, Nope. No, I couldn't deal with the mental <laughs> the mental illness I'm going to get from having you home for a month. <laughs> so, <laughs> so no, I, I take a, oh, I, I'd love to have a, all of December off. Just sit there, watch the eat quarter I'll pounders. Go, go out. Well, when we go out to eat some Indian yeah, food, see? we'll all get COVID. Some Double pe- quarter pounder with cheese, six pack nuggets. Oh, just stop doing this to me. I'm so <laughs> hungry. <laughs> I, I, I should, uh, I, we should get, um, oh, example, what is your closet movie? Closet movie. Okay, so we're going to we'll do movies. We're going to do music, music <laughs> movies. Um, Other. We're get, yeah, food, even food. Food, food, you have food, a guilty pleasure, food. Movies, music. Yeah. Whatever. Porn. Porn. <laughs> <laughs> What's your closet porn? <laughs> Rod Stewart kicking soccer balls. <laughs> oh, that, 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 that's a bad rumor. That that was a rumor, that whole Rod Stewart and the soccer team thing. It wasn't true, just so you know. Oh, boy. Just so you know, I'm just letting you have that now. We're getting that out of the okay. way. Don't anyone right. say that. Don't. Not Rod. Rod right. would I'm not discussing any gerbils or anything like that. If I hear you, if you that, that wasn't you know, true. That wasn't true here. either. That that was all made up stuff. Don't don't believe all that. They did land on the moon though, but there was no there was no there was there there was no gerbils on SpaceX. So, anyways, we're gonna get out of here, folks. So, thank you so much. We are out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, feed the need. Take care. See you guys. Feed the need. <laughs>